Hey folks, Anthony from Vaughn Performance and today we're here with Kirby, the Vaughn Performance Crosstrek and I'm super excited because we have something special going on it. We have ourselves a set of uh, flat out GR Lite coilovers and those are going on there today. Uh, figured we shoot a little unboxing thing for you guys. I don't know how super detailed unboxing will do because I really want to get them open and see it but uh all right let's get these things open well we'll see if we can get these things open without me opening myself as well there's that that fancy flat out tape cut and i think not to ruin the suspense for anybody but we're going to have a few other smaller boxes in here also that's my that's my suspicion all right that's some nicely packaged stuff here okay let's see what we got here all right well there's one box Ooh. let's see what's in here oh wow very nice we got a nice little folder with some flat out stickers keychain Ooh, this is nice. Look at this. GR White. Certificate of Build. Okay. Oh, very nice. They need reviews. We got you. Cool. This looks like some little coilover setup instructions. Well, that's all very nice. All right. So let's get these secondary boxes open here. I don't know if we've got a back or a front or I guess that'll be part of the surprise, right? Oh, looks like I got her upside down. Here, we'll do this like we, we planned it or something. We didn't. Ooh, all right, we're getting closer. We got a, looks like we got a rear. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see in there you want to take a look. But anyway, yeah, all packaged up really well and nice. Even went and put them in a bag. That's pretty cool. Some packing. Oh boy. That's pretty, isn't it? Wow. It's pretty robust as well. This is really, you, you can't feel the weight through the video obviously but this is is pretty substantial and this is the GR light rather than the 40 so this is the slightly smaller piston version and slightly smaller sh shaft version but um, and non-inverted but wow that's like all right very nice well, let's see let's get it out of its wrapper here Boy, that is impressive. Nice little anodized adjuster there. Soft, hard, little neural knob. Now let's see. See if you can feel the click. Oh yeah. That's nice. The clicks have a nice, there's 20, 20 clicks of adjustment and they have a really nice detent to them, which is a nice thing when you're trying to tune them. So you, you know where the heck you are and how many clicks you've gone when you're adjusting them, which we'll go over that a little bit more, maybe in another video when they're on the car. For now, let's get this pretty thing out of there. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. That is very nice. So just a click, what we're looking at, obviously, it's just a solid top hat. It's a nice chunk of metal there for that. And it looks like, yeah, you could even, for whatever reason you want to interchange or replace this, it's Allen threads there, so that comes apart. Very nice. And these are the GR Lite. So you have two points of adjustment, basically. You have the lower point of adjustment here, where you turn this collar, and that's one point of adjustment for setting height. Here, we'll turn it so you get a nice flat out sticker in there. So, very nice. Nicely milled bodies. It's nickel plated, so no corrosion. 
if I remember correctly, I think that's uh, a 10 year corrosion warranty or something. I have to double check that. But anyway, nickel plated, we got helper spring, a nice long main spring there. That's magnitude springs, 12 by 12, five inch OD, ID rather. Very nice, blue anodizing on the adjuster collars. That's a nice component right there. Very nice. All right, well, I suppose we'll pull one of the fronts out as well and uh, we'll let you guys have a look at that. All right, well, you guys got to look at one of the rears. So, let's get one of the fronts out here. Take a look at that. More of that nice packaging there. Little peanuts. In case you get hungry while you're unboxing. No, don't don't eat those. Ooh, very nice. All right, and that is a front. Boy, yeah, you could see the size of the piston shaft on that. It's very nice welding there on the body. Let me get the sucker out of here so you can get a better look at that. Wow, that is nice. Yeah, I, when you look at these in pictures online, you think, oh, those are pretty looking, but you know, so, so aren't a lot of things. But yeah, holding it here in real life, in person, and looking at it, it's, it's very nicely made. It's extremely, like I say, robust. It's a nice, solid product. And these are the light. All right. Man, that is pretty. So you got adjustable camber and a spherical bearing up in the top and the front. Now you can order those either way for, like what we're gonna be doing with our cross track, we're doing um, you know low speed technical off-road sort of stuff. You can order these with a uh, OEM style non-adjustable top hat as well. Now, well, why would you do that? So if you're doing like, rally or rally cross or something like that. Sometimes you don't really want to have um, a point of adjustment here because you're really lots of side and vertical loads and sometimes they can come out of adjustment. But I mean, these are, are really nicely made and very nice. Very nice top mount. You can see the size of the, the piston shaft there. That's, it's not uh, like, yeah, like I said, non inverted on the lights, but man, I think that's like 20. I have to, I have to double check that, but 20 millimeter shaft, I want to say, something like that. Nice uh, little polymer bump stop there. Really nice long spring on that one, 12.12 .12 and that. And then you can see the mounting clevis and stuff down here. So again, just like in the rears, this is independent of the shock body and you could, you could turn this off if you wanted to, but you have the two points of adjustment, the main spring collar here and that adjusts, and the lower little anodized adjuster there. Now when that's in the car, obviously that's not gonna be able to turn, so you spin that and that's where you get your adjustment. But the thing to look at right now is, man, take a look at those brackets. Take a look at the welds. That's that is nice. Nice thick mounting tabs for the brake lines and all that stuff. Speed sensor and or ABS sensor, ABS speed sensor. Some reinforcement. That's really nice. This is impressive. Very impressive. All right, I'm excited. We got to get these things in the car. So another little package that we have here that I didn't want to miss showing you guys before we dive into getting the coilovers on the car. So we got something in this nice little package here is gluten free from Tom at Cartboy. And that's all wheel engineering. And uh, so let's see what's in there. Ooh, all right. So what we have here is some subframe spacers and that's going out back in the rear suspension to drop, not the suspension necessarily, but the rear subframe to drop that down, the amount basically that we're gonna lift the car. 
so we don't have too much angle on the CV joints and the rear suspension geometry stays in line. So Tom was nice enough to send us some of these spacers out of his, uh, his, his lift kit, which is a really nice one if you're looking at a spacer option. Tom's got just about the nicest spacer lift kit uh, that I've seen on the market really for this chassis. And if you check Vaughn Performance website, we have that up there as well in case you want to go for a spacer option. But we do need to space the rear subframe down. So he sent us over some of these cool rear subframe spacers. And this is about my favorite thing. Do not eat. And now because you told me not to, I really, I, I really want to. But anyway, that's super nicely done. Very nicely made spacer. I don't know how that translates onto video, but it's, man, it's really nice. Just like all Cartboy stuff, super well made. Apocalypse proof. All right, well, let's tear this thing apart and get all this stuff in the car already, right? <laughs> 